the previous uh, two releases last year, which is the uh, Dante Masume, which is the blue one, uh, with the um, uh, Takeda Shinga, which is the red one. And that was the first two releases in this product line uh, called the Progenitor Effects. And so yeah, I really love this uh, motion figures and then they also have new one this year which is a little bit shorter one called the uh, you know, some kind of spirit incarnation which is the, some kind of like a spin-off for just one figure on its own Now this year they only have made two of those figures and the next year I think there is a the new one called the uh, Lancelot which is the uh, different um, style look of this, uh, you know, uh, progenitor FX line, which is the number four figures, and that is gonna be so cool as well. I'm gonna get this. I have already made a pre-order on the uh, show Z and BongoSpeed.net. And uh, speaking of that, I got this one for about 110 pound or 130 pound, something like that, plus 30 pound shipping to the UK. So roughly about 140 to 160 pound, which is not too bad for the size that you're getting, which is about 12 inches to uh, tall about a kilo heavy <laughs> it's made in in a die cut skeleton with the plastic on top with the led lighter point which is uh, more than what you ask for really and plus you get quite a lot of accessory like these kind of weapons and all kind of stuff like that which is really really cool and compared to the metal build gundams one of your bandai that you're getting this is definitely worth the money uh, i'm telling you this is really really worth it so i'm so happy to have this one in my collection it's really reasonable price as well um you know so why not <laughs> definitely worth it and plus the engineering articulation is not gonna be a problem in this figure and plus you got all the nice paint job or the decal and from the first impression as long as out of the box is amazing <laughs> i just love it so much from the start um so yeah i'll be getting all the uh, you know uh release in this uh, progenitor effects line and for sure and uh, on top of that they are making all the military robot as well and uh, if i like them i think i might get them as well so, so stay tuned to my channel and you see you know what else what you will find on my channel i'm sure that you will like something that you like you know so anyway so you got this uh, really cool uh, energy sword uh, from the backpack which i just took it out and you got this one really nice looking translucent green energy effect which is so cool uh, it's so sparkly and shiny like a crystal and uh, i love that and you can combine this one two of them together and this is how you store the weapon i think and then you can combine with this giant one as well and that is going to be awesome and uh, i'm not going to actually combine it for real i'm just going to show you how it's going to look like uh, it can actually do that potentially and you can clip it together to make it close to the um, front but it is very big and long weapon as you can see here right so that is the uh, one cool accessory that comes with it so this one is definitely looks so modern and uh, the previous two release that they have is the um, you know uh, Dante Masume is more like a sniper, uh, long range attacker you know, um, and uh, what's it another one? The, um, uh, Takeda Shingen is more melee attacker with the uh, massive axe and uh, loads of sword. Not a single gun in this one, <laughs> so they are definitely looks like Japanese samurai style. But in this one, it looks very modern-ish and also come with quite a lot of LED lighter point as well. So you got one on the eye, one on the side panel and also on the jack pack, which is awesome. And so from the first impression, like I said before, it's really awesome. You got little articulated flats and all these things that you can actually adjust around however way you like. So there are quite a lot of things that you can do with it. And also on top of that, you got this uh, surprise uh, gift, which is what I would call it. And for me, is I got this little uh, statue or something like that without arms, which is, <laughs> you know, I, um, I don't mind, as, as I would say, but sometimes you get surprise weapons or special bonus effects or whatever. So, and this is a driver for this um, awesome machine. Okay, so this, I don't know what her name is. Uh, I think the, uh, the um, Lancelot is going to be the uh, Tracy, um, who is the English driver. So, yeah, so I think they have all the four girls that drive these four machines. So that is according to the anime, 
which I don't even know what that anime is. I want to watch that actually. I, if anybody know what the anime is, please put me on the links or something so that I can you know check it out. Right, so that's that. And also, of course, come with this uh, dynamic uh, stand, which is the magnet base, which is so awesome. This is so so heavy as well. Uh, it's really massive, as you can see here. And also, of course, it's come with the uh, a lot of hands i gotta say all right so you got so many pair of hands i cannot believe that how much they have in here so you got the trigger hand right so this is one of the hands so you got trigger hand a pair of fists as usual and this is a uh, some kind of holes on it so i would say this is the uh, holding sword maybe and you got some kind of open hand and also um i think why is that this is another hands for uh, holding soul as well but it kind of tilt tilt style and then you also have this uh, relaxed hand as well so or you can use that to lift up something i don't know so it's quite a lot of pair of hands here it's ridiculous so this is a trigger hands for guns maybe i don't know uh, yeah uh, this is the one that i will use it i suppose so yeah it comes with quite a lot of pair of hands um, uh, in fact it's like one two three four five six six of them and plus on top the one that i'm already having on there so which is seven set of pair of hands so it's crazy right so and uh, let me pause this one and show you a bit more close up right so take the uh, this rotating table and this is the box that you see here at the back so I just leave it in the back so you can see how it looks like and from the start you can see the uh, all the little decal that I was talking about it's all over the place and you got all the little flags that you can actually move around articulations and engineering in this figure is awesome you know it's not gonna be a problem I can guarantee you that um, so they are really really nice <laughs> I don't think you're gonna have any issue and in terms of articulation i'm not going to do too much here because it's exactly the same as every other figure that you see on my channel or every other channel and they're the same as metal bill gundam really um, so the only thing that difference is i would say the accessories and designs and all the little other features are the one that you know um, difference i suppose from figure to figures right so this one has a little uh, gun as well so this thing you can actually close it like that and then you can also open it and I come out with this little guns thing which is really cool I like that okay and also I don't know what this things do and <laughs> this one probably for the um, I don't know dynamic stands or whatever and as you see that strut here that that is actually really <laughs> work when you crouch it down right so it's kind of difficult for me to do it because I have a massive gun on the top uh, if I crouch it down, you can see that it does actually work and that is amazing engineering, I would say. So this is really, really cool. And then also this piece here that you see on the hand, which you can't pull this out. This one will actually go with the uh, some kind of string, uh, some kind of metal wired string which you can actually attach it to this one as well so yeah so this one will shoot out I suppose um, it's also can articulate a little bit so yeah I don't know what is the point but uh, yeah at least you can do something with it um, yeah let me put it back in and uh, this piece here is also cool you got loads of LED lighter point which I'll show to you in a second and then the gun can also take it out okay and at the back you see this wing can also can articulate and also this thing the jet pack here is you can also adjust up and down like that as well see on both of them you can do that all right let me dim all the light here and then you can see all the cool led lighter effects so i don't know where the button is oh there we go Right, so you can see it on the green light on the side and also two blue light here. And then also on here, if you press it, you will see all the little, little light here also going around, which is very nice. And uh, if you 
wait a little bit it will get faster and faster and faster and that is one effect and you see now it's super fast now and if you press it again and that will be a little bit slow so like a stepping mode so sort of like christmas style lightning and then you can also have fade in fade out effect as well so this is the second effect this is super fast again and then press it again this is now all turn on light mode fade in fade out and then press it again and that's kind of like very blinky kind of effect and now completely switch off so yeah it's kind of quite a lot of different effects here and then also on the head also lit up the green light as you can see here and if you turn on the other side and you can see all the lights are flashing everywhere <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome so yeah I love that I love all these little LED effects you know uh, not just like on and off like a hot toys but these ones have uh, all these kind of like special effects going on which is nice you know right uh, turn, it, turn on the back the light here and now let me show you this gun this gun also have this barrel or whatever this energy effects um, things can go up and down and this thing can extend it out and also if I pull this guns out you can see it's very very long okay so longer than the other side see that's how much is different so yeah and that is awesome and you can also take this out if you don't want to put it on the shoulder and you can keep it in his hand like a normal gun and so that is also very cool effects here but I'm just gonna leave it on there. I'm not gonna put it on the hand. I'm just gonna leave it on the uh, museum post, just like that. Yeah, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, one thing I'll notice is the uh, the proportion is a little bit weird. <laughs> I didn't notice it before until today, to be honest. And uh, what I would say by is the uh, the legs are too long, and the body is a bit short, but the legs is really long. So the proportion is a little bit strange. Uh, I think maybe this is how it is in these figures uh, in the anime as well. I don't know. But the uh, one I compare with the Dante Masume is also the same thing. And the legs are very long, but the body is a bit short. <laughs> so that is the only part that I notice is a little bit strange about. Um, yeah, so and obviously one thing I forgot to mention is all these things you can actually articulate. You know, all these guns can lift up and down. You can articulate all these wings and you can see all this joint here, which is you can't put anywhere you like. So I'm probably going to put it like this. Okay, so you can actually articulate quite a lot of pieces here and uh, any way you like. So yeah, um, that is really cool things that you can do. Um, also, I do notice that this guy is a little bit taller than the rest of their line. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, I don't want to keep it too long on the videos, but try to be informative as possible. So here we are. So I compare it side by side here, as you can see, the uh, Dante Masume is a little shorter than this guy. Um, the head is a little bit, I don't know, probably about a few centimeters higher for sure. And uh, having these guns on the top is definitely doesn't help either. So when I put it on the uh, shelf, and this guy can go in easily, but this guy, maybe because of the gun, doesn't go in. <laughs> um, for the 30 centimeter uh, high shelf, it doesn't work on this guy. This one need a bit 32. This one will go with a uh, 30 centimeter, no problem. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, this is what I noticed here. Uh, also, let me show you where the couple other figures. Okay, so now I put the uh, all these figures here together, and uh, as you can see here. Right, so you got Dante Masume's and this Wu Chen Ho, and uh, you can see the Wu Chen Ho is bigger. And here is my Metal Bill Gundam. Um, this is, I think, Strike. And uh, I have the Ninja Turtle uh, from the Countdown model. And you can see all the height comparison-wise. So you can see that they're all similar price here. So it all costs around about 150, 110, 100. 60 whatever it is you know they all three of them for china they all cost around about that 
uh, but the metal bill here <laughs> you can see how tiny this guy is and cost how much you know this is about uh, 250 pounds for this tiny guy half the price of this big guy and you're not getting any better you know in terms of quality wise in terms of engineering they're basically the same structure the same thing uh, just a different brand obviously different company and this one it doesn't come with a jetpack either how to get this 100 pound for the jetpack and all this weapon here and so this is definitely not worth the money you know i'm seriously re regretted it buying all these Gundam from the Bandai and all the metal build and uh, it just really is not worth it and the only thing that this guy come with a shield and a gun and a hundred pound for the jet you know for this additional weapons or if you want to spend the jet pad or different kind of perfect strike if you want to you can have a uh, sword pack, gun pack, jack pad all these one that's 300 pound in total for each of the hundred pound each three of them 300 pound Plus the figures, 150 pounds, that's minimum. So yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculously expensive. 150 pounds were just for the guy without any any LED lighter point or any additional accessory. And look at this Wu Chan Ho, you know, you get a lot more for your money and definitely go for it, you know, without shadow of a doubt. I mean, if you can find these kind of, you know, uh, Chinese Gundams and uh, like, um, you know, I, I might, call it Gundam but you might call it differently I don't know but all I'm saying is they are definitely worth the money and for what you're getting so yeah so I definitely recommend it apart from the uh, proportion of the leg issues and that's the only thing that I will say uh, hopefully they in the future figures are a little bit more balanced like if you look at this turtle here it's perfectly balanced you know um, top to bottom and they all weigh about a, a kilo heavy and so yeah it has a lot of die cast piece and the joints are very well stiff you know loads of decal loads of uh, attention to detail engineering i mean everything is absolutely spot on really apart from the leg is a little bit too long that's the only part that i would say everything else is absolutely awesome so yeah Anyway, uh, I hope that this video is helpful and informative. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.